Yeah. This morning, Donald Trump is facing some new roadblocks on his path to the Republican nomination. In Washington, a group of grassroots conservatives met privately Thursday to plot how to take Trump down, issuing a statement saying, quote, we are committed to ensuring a real conservative candidate is elected. They're also willing to fight Donald Trump and a Donald Trump establishment because he doesn't share our values. Trump has predicted riots if he's denied the nomination in Cleveland. I think you'd have riots. I think you'd have riots. You know, we have, we're, I'm representing a tremendous many, many millions of people. In an interview with ABC News, rival John Kasich accused Trump of inciting chaos. To even imply that there could be violence if he doesn't get his way, you know, he's not running for the presidency of the WWE. He's running for president of the United States. And this kind of language is an outrage. And now Trump is facing more heat on the airwaves as Republican groups target him with a new wave of negative ads. Ask Donald Trump why he sides with Hillary Clinton and why he wants more government health care. Anti-Trump spending has increased 900 percent since Iowa. This week alone, some 65% of all Republican spending was aimed at toppling Trump. And John, you've got contests in Utah and Arizona on Tuesday. What's the best hope for these anti-Trump forces to try to slow Trump down on Tuesday? Well, they better hope to be able to stop him in Arizona. That's a winner-take-all state, George. 58 delegates at stake. But it's also a state where Donald Trump may be at his strongest, where Republicans are especially anti-immigration. He has the support of the former governor, Jan Brewer. But Arizona is a really looks like a must-win state for anti-Trump forces. Me meantime, John, on the Democratic side, uh, some indications that President Obama is signaling that he wants this primary fight to end. That's right. Uh, there's a report in the New York Times that he actually told a group of Democratic donors that it's time to unite behind Hillary Clinton. Now, the White House denies that the president have sa has said who to unite behind, uh, but clearly soon it will be time to unite. And it's no secret that most of the president's uh, top advisors uh, who are on record are supporting Hillary Clinton, not Bernie Sanders. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much.